I'm Jenny, and today I'll be doing a thousand piece puzzle, time lapse style. The one I picked for this video is this doggy puzzle by a girl, girl. <laughs> I'm probably not saying it right. Uh, not a big puzzle name brand, but I'm super excited about it because it has like a zillion dogs on it. I'm currently going through kind of a puppy crazy phase, so um, I'll be sure to be enjoying all these tiny little dogs that are coming up on the puzzle. Let's check it out. Okay guys, let's unbox this thing. Again, we kind of have like a nondescript box. Not a lot of branding on this guy. Um, looks like I could have just kind of printed it out. Um, but let's see what's inside. Again, I'm all about this because of the pattern. Okay. Here we go. Have here. Ooh! It's purple. Well, that's cool. It looks like all the puzzles have like letters on the back. Um, I brought and we, okay, I don't know what this is. Is this a puzzle stand? Like some sort of balsa wood? Oh, we'll put that there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Is it a frame? Oh. No. And then we have our doggy map. Uh oh. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the bigger puzzles. Poor little puzzle map. We're going to have to find some room for you. But here we go. I'm going to have fun with this one. I already see some chihuahuas wearing clothes. All right. So we got the map. We got this weird stand thing, not quite sure what that is. This is definitely more than I was expecting in this puzzle. And then what I like to do is the sawdust test. Okay, have you guys ever gotten that like, you know, cardboardy sawdust stuck on your puzzle map? Well, to get rid of that, what you can do is use a colander and dump all the puzzle pieces in there. Okay, and just kind of Push it around a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm already seeing some stuff come out here at the bottom. Scoosh it. Basically get rid of the sawdust before it hits your bubble mat. Okay. <laughs> okay, I bet I didn't get all of it, but at least we reduced it somewhat. So if you can see, there, are, we've got some sawdust in there. Uh, not too much, but happy it's on that. All right, I think we're ready to get going. We've got our pieces with its numbers, points for this pretty purple bag. See if I have another use for that. And um, let's get puzzling.
So I hope you enjoyed watching that time lapse as much as I had doing the actual puzzle. This guy took me about four days to complete. Um, I loved it though, mainly because I love dogs. I'm not sure how many of them there are in this puzzle. Anyone feel free to take a guess, but um, it was really cool to go through and put the individual doggies together. Um, I have a little black chihuahua and he doesn't wear clothes, but every time I saw a little chihuahua wearing clothes or a doggy that looked like him, I got especially excited. Um, there were a few imposters on this puzzle. So there were some animals that didn't quite belong. Um, a few ferrets, a chinchilla, a guinea pig, and some cats. Um, so that was kind of funny. Every time I saw one, I was like, aha, I caught you. So all in all, I love this puzzle, primarily because of the picture. Um, the puzzle itself was a little bit tricky. It's not made out of your standard cardboard puzzle material, but more of like a balsa wood. So balsa wood is like a really thick, but light wood. And it basically meant that every time I put a puzzle piece in, I had to use both hands, all my arm muscles. It was like a full body experience to like jam them together. So that made it a little hard. But um, the good thing was that when I did get puzzle pieces together, they stayed that way. So I was able to like move sheets of this puzzle around at a time, which was kind of weird and different. So um, my strategy on this puzzle was a little different than I normally do. As we all start out with the edges, I was starting with the edges, but the edges on this puzzle are mostly white. So as you might've seen in my unboxing, um, each of these puzzle pieces has a letter on it. So they actually divided the puzzle into eight parts and wrote letters on the back. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And so what I did in order to get the white edge done was break all the puzzle pieces into groups by their letter. And then I was able to just focus on that section of the puzzle and really like commune with the doggies in there. Um, I tried to counteract this because it felt a little bit like cheating. So I didn't look at the map or the picture box for this one, uh, which actually kind of added a cool challenge. Um, I was like, just kind of letting the puzzle pieces show me where they wanted to be. So it was kind of cool to challenge myself in that way. And I, again, got to really focus on the individual pieces instead of like spending my time looking at a box. So um, that added to my enjoyment. So um, what do you guys like to do puzzles about? Are you a dog person, a cat person, a landscape person? Um, let me know in the comments, I'd love to find out. So please um, subscribe to my channel. I'm kind of obsessed with puzzles, so I'll be starting on a new one right away. You don't wanna miss it when I put it up. Thanks. Oh,